Good morning, Hot Rodders. Heading north, having fun. Good morning, Rick. Never heard this quiet on this channel in the mornings. I don't know who thought of this route. You guys having issues with traffic or something? Hey folks, when you go through Perry, Oklahoma, there's an awful lot of people sitting out, waving. Very nice. Good morning, Rick and Josh. I'm here in Texas, uh, working and living vicariously, you guys. Well, buddy, it's a beautiful morning, up to 85 degrees, not a cloud in the sky, and there are just hundreds of hot rodders on Highway State Highway 77 out of Oklahoma City heading up to Wichita. So it's a stereotypical morning like a hot rod wants it to be. Everyone's on the route, having fun, lots of people out waving. It's a cool day. Did my last one go out? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm beginning to think I uh, took the wrong half of the power tour. Uh, it seems like it's really picking up some steam and I'm not just relating to the heat there at all. <laughs> well, maybe some of each, but yeah, 101 is forecasted today in Wichita. Looks like there wasn't a whole lot of shade out at the, at the Kansas City Coliseum either. Sorry, I missed that. Say again. Sorry, right, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of shade at the Coliseum either. Oh well, we'll make it. Should be a fun day. Back roads are nice and lots of folks out. It's fun. I need to look back on the thing, but weren't you all supposed to hit Tulsa as well before heading to Kansas? Nope, nope, nope. Just Oklahoma City, Wichita, and then Kansas City. So does that kind of wind up being a, a two-day event there in uh, Kansas City? Well, this is the first year that they finally listened to everybody that's been asking, and it's a one-day event. So they're going to do the long hauler thing at 7 p.m. tomorrow night, Friday night, instead of calling everybody back for Saturday morning. So, yeah, Friday is just a one-day event like every other site. It's just going to do the long haul later in the evening. Yeah, that sounds like that'll give everybody a little bit more of a chance to uh, mosey on home instead of uh, trying to hot rod it back. Yeah, I'll be home in my own bed about midnight tomorrow night, and then i got to go to a nephew's wedding on Saturday morning, so it worked out well for me. Because otherwise, I was going to miss that wedding. <laughs> Well, good to know you got your priorities straight. We're going to have an open bar. Sorry, say that again? We're going to have an open bar. I doubt it. I uh, I haven't even looked at that. That does get pricey for the bride and groom. I remember spending $1,200 just on wine at our wedding. And luckily for me, I'm a home brewer, so I had my own couple of kegs of beer there. But, uh, yeah. A lot of money there. Yeah, I don't know how big this thing's going to be. We'll see. My son is is wearing a tuxedo standing next to his cousin, so it should be a cool day. Yeah, sitting in traffic this morning just doesn't hold the same level of excitement as uh, I had earlier this week. Yeah, traffic's not too bad when you're surrounded by a bunch of hot rodders. Just kind of feel bad for those guys that don't have working AC in their cars. Oh, I've done it. It's not as much fun, for sure. It makes a difference, but it's all part of the experience. Yeah, we kind of had that issue last year in the blue car. Um, AC would blow nice and hot, or nice and cool for uh, what, like two minutes, and then cut out. Yeah, I was watching a little video uh, late last night of some guys stuck in bumper-to-bumper uh, -bumper traffic with their doors hanging wide open on their cars as they inched along. Oh yeah, we've seen it out here. Because I thought they were opening them, open up the gates earlier, so now we're just taking our time getting there after noon, and uh, you know, no sense in showing up early and sitting in line and baking up the sun. Yeah, to me it seems like about 2 o'clock is the optimum time to show up. Yeah, definitely avoiding that first bulk of the cars is worth the wait. Hello, Kansas. Well, you guys are making good time. That was a pretty nice little drive this morning. No matter whatsoever. What time did you head out this morning? About 7. Yep, just made it into 
Hutchinson, Kansas. Just wanted to chime in this morning. Wish everybody safe travels. Hope everybody's having fun, staying cool and dry. So we just passed through Tonkawa, Oklahoma, and the fire department has their big ladder uh, over the main drag and lots of folks hanging out along the side. That's pretty cool. I stopped and gave some kid a magnet. I wish you'd have gave me a magnet. Good morning there, Tommy. What beer are you starting the day off today with? Well, I packed the cooler with, uh, after yesterday, it was like a gazillion degrees. Um, I packed the cooler with, I don't know, I forget the name of it. And, and I will tell you, last night at the restaurant, I had a really good beer. I think it was from a company called Coop or something like that. Yeah, that one doesn't ring a bell. If you ever pass through St. Louis, you got to try a Sh- Schlafly beer. Been out there. Been there, done that one. Yeah, you cut out on me. Something about in St. Louis. Uh, he must be in a dead zone. He was uh, referring to a beer in St. Louis called Schlafly, I believe it's called. It's been a few years, but I recall drinking one of those when I was there. Yeah, that's it. I'm just having trouble talking today. Yeah, last time I was in St. Louis, it was zero degrees and had three feet of snow on the ground. I was not drinking much beer. Then you wouldn't make it in Wisconsin. But if I can get to the Missouri, I'll look for that Schlafly. Yeah, beer is good and I freeze though. It helps you stay warm or at least feel like it. Why do you need to feel warm when it's 100 degrees outside? I actually work in St. Louis five days a week and then drive four and a half hours home Friday night for weekends. Yeah, I much prefer whiskey or bourbon or scotch when it's cold. And yeah, Bill, that's why I hang my hat in Texas. Well, Josh, I think I just experienced my first hiccup with Zillow uh, from not clearing the history. I was noticing that I was not getting the images of your guys' avatars as you guys were talking. Yeah, I just made it to the Cosmo Fear, Sphere. Excuse me. Yeah, hey. By the way, good morning, everybody. Yeah, I was uh, looking back through those pictures, and that uh, now you realize that uh, why us Texans and Oklahomans uh, install fans outdoors, don't you? Hey, we got them in Illinois and Wisconsin, too. It's, you know, we just got them more dense than you guys do. Well, the town of Blackwell, Oklahoma, also has uh, a big American flag on their uh, fire department ladder extended over the main drag. Very cool. Gotta love the way these small towns roll out the red carpet when they know we're coming. Somebody try to catch a snapshot for me. Tell me again how to put a picture on this thing. On your microphone screen left hand side just below the power tour logo you'll see a camera push and hold the camera you can select from your gallery library thank you i think i just did it no nope, nothing came through all right fellers i just pulled up at my next job here so i'm gonna go into radio silence you guys be safe out there and i'll catch up with you later roger that stay cool Oop, that picture came through uh, right as I was about to sign off. That's pretty cool of them to do that. Yeah, Roger, agree. Neat time. I don't know about you guys, but I got black screens. I was using gallery, and that didn't work, so then I went to photos, and he gave me the ability to select. You should have two pictures. Wow, that was weird. As I was, as I was looking at the screen at the uh, Zillow chirped and the picture downloaded from a black screen. I must have to clear my memory out or something because this thing's acting kind of funny today. We just got told there's a car accident a couple of miles up ahead of us, so we'll uh, keep an eye out and see what's happening. Hopefully it's not hot rodders. Yeah, I just saw your four photos. That is cool. Cool, thanks. All right, everybody, time for this old fool to head to work. Y'all stay safe, stay cool, and we'll have a good one. We'll catch you later. Thanks, sir. I'm thinking when you say stay cool, that you must be talking to all these cars with their windows rolled up. Yeah, I didn't turn my AC on until uh, I got on the 35 North turnpike or whatever it is. 
Just uh, to close the loop, the accident that had been referred to us was a semi truck left the road and laid on its side. I just put a picture up. No hot rodders involved. I just got word I'm in Blackwell. There's a wreck in Bremen. The highway is closed. Uh, this gentleman is telling us. I came through that road an hour ago. This is Rick. And um, there was a semi truck on its side. So if they're trying to <coughs> pick that semi truck up, that's why it's closed. So it was just a semi that uh, didn't navigate. Hey, rock, high rod tour. Is there a detour um, on Highway 11 West? Yeah, what I'm reading on Facebook is 11 West back to 35. Yeah, those pictures I posted a minute ago were from Apollo 13 out here in uh, Hutchinson, Kansas. Does anybody that got rerouted back there at the four-way stop sign know where we're going? Uh, Lori, they were saying on Facebook, uh, 11 West back to I-35 North. Did you copy that? Sure did, thanks. They were also saying you can get back on um, about eight miles north and get back on the original route. It's really cooling off. It's at about 60 out here. Does anybody know why they rerouted us? Or there was a semi accident. Yeah, semi truck was going too fast on a left turn and uh, laid his truck on its right side. It was tired. It had to lay down for a nap. Hope everybody was okay. For those of you that got rerouted, if you'll come 35 north to exit 231, it'll take you on to 177 back to Brahman. Hey, fuck you, moms. Sorry, what was that? Hey, uh, we're at the uh, intersection of 11 and 177, and uh, we got a road close sign here. What the heck? Anybody know what's going on? Yeah, there's a laid over semi up ahead. Take 11 west over to 35 north. Head 35 north about 8 miles. You'll get back on 177. Hey guys, just made it into Wichita and uh, cops are doing a great job of getting everybody into the grounds. You're parked on the concrete again, the tarmac, so it'll be hot. But uh, really well organized so far. Did you copy that detour message? Come on. Negative. 10 2. There's a laid over semi just ahead of you. That's why the road closure sign is on 177. Take 11 west. Back over to 35, I-35 North, about 8 miles will get you back on to 177. Okay, thank you very much. Hey, on that detour, once you get on 35, just stay on it. No need to get back off. Which one's prettier? <laughs> Couldn't tell you that. Once we got on 35, we just stayed on that to Wichita. I got by before they blocked off the road and then ride up I think that was what 77 that was a really nice road um, I don't know if you can call much of this area pretty but it was uh, very well paved and you know scenery wasn't bad better than the interstate thanks for the input I know it's not probably everyone's cup of tea but I think it's kind of cool personally I'd go back to the state highway besides you got to let it warm up up here before you get up here to Wichita can we expect some fresh baked cookies on your dashboard when we get there? <laughs> I saw that picture yesterday, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's mid nineties right now. It, it's getting there. We've upgraded today. It's no longer cookies; it's eggs. By tomorrow, you'll make a damn cake. By tomorrow, they have cooling centers for you. Would be nice. I was just thinking, did that guy ever find his header bolt? Hi everyone, we just were to the venue, uh, lots of open spaces, pretty, pretty, pretty hot, uh, temperatures reading 101 right now, but the line is gone and you'll be able to drive right in, and a lot of people have driven in and are now driving out. Yep, we just got off the highway here, getting ready to turn into the venue. Looks like there's a short line here, not too bad. Yay, close up parking. Everybody. Well, it's not too bad under a tent here, out towards the front. Uh, steady stream of cars coming in still. We're coming in in about a couple minutes. Uh, there's still come, people coming in. Is it really hot out there? It's pretty hot, but like I said, if you can find some shade, it's not too bad. There's a nice breeze coming through as well. Cool. 
Thanks for the heads up. Yeah, no problem. We'll keep an eye out for you. We're off to the left as you come out, come, come right in through the front Black gates. Tent. We're on the left. Black tent. Where are you guys driving? 2016 Mustang 4 GT. Color? Bright red. Thanks. See you soon. Yeah, I just moved my car up so you should be able to see us a little bit better. We're right right in front of the Ford, rest, uh, Ford Mustang GT by the black tent. Great. We're coming up to the front gates and about 12 cars. Hey, Scott, are you, you driving that uh, Frontier that just drove by? You've got a rotting and racing sticker on the side of the truck. Hey, Josh, were you uh, talking to me a minute ago? Yeah, Scott, I think I just saw you leave the, the event venue a couple uh, minutes ago. No, that wasn't me. I am uh, parked down in uh, Austin, Texas still. I uh, only did the first half of the tour. I'm just monitoring this channel because I'm having withdrawal symptoms. I got gotcha. Just, just look like your, your uh, profile picture, that's all. That poor fella. Sir, if you're having withdrawals, just turn on the oven and go sit in it. <laughs> yeah, that's about yeah. right. <laughs> well, I work as a mobile mechanic, so I'm actually out in a parking lot at one of my commercial accounts working on about five of their vehicles. Uh, and the temperature here is right at about 100 degrees, at in the ambient. and. We're, we're there with you, man. I'm sweating along. So you're really not missing anything? <laughs> Other than the cool cars, yeah. That's uh, Everything else uh, remains the same. I'm still driving. I'm still sweating. I just am um, not surrounded by great people and really cool cars. So cool, like this uh, Ford Pinto that just drove by. Is it the yellow one that's tubbed out? No, it looked like a stock blue one. Yeah, when we were leaving uh, Gonzales, uh, actually I think we were in uh, Lafayette the other day when we uh, saw a tubbed out yellow Pinto. It was uh, pretty radical. Yeah, I just went and looked at my profile picture. I forgot what I had up there, but yeah, I put the uh, my red Nissan Titan on there. Uh, they had a white camper shell on it to hide all my tools. Just shared a picture for you there. How about that? Any of those four would do it for me. Did you notice the sunshade? Yes, sir. Probably needs an ambulance with a bottle of water more than the police, though. Well, I gotta get out here and finish up this school bus now, so I'll uh, catch you guys a little later. All right, man. We'll see you. We'll be around. Looks like a lot of people are starting to head out now. Yeah, it's nice and cool in this motel room. To anyone who's listening, we are going to Monarch in downtown Wichita for dinner if anyone feels like joining. Is that down there by the cruise in? I believe so. All right, I'm headed down there now. Um, I'm in a red GTO cow hood. Okay, we're on uh, 135 South and a red 2016 Mustang. All right, yeah, I'm leaving the motel. So I'm like two miles away. So. No waiting out here. Plenty of tables open. Alright, who's in Morals now? Josh and Brian are at Morals. Alright, I'm right here at my Heroes. How close is that? We're off of Douglas and Sycamore. Right next to the Lawrence Dunmont Stadium. Is it called Morals Landing? Morals Landing? No, sir. Showing up as the Monarch. Alright, let me do a search and see how close I am. Alright, it shows a mile away. I'm walking, so give me a few minutes to get there, I guess. We'll be here. All right. You see me coming in. I have a I have a red ball cap on and a Texas Mile T-shirt. Yeah, I'm wearing a British flag T-shirt and my buddy's wearing Snoopy. I didn't hear that. Come back. Turn. I'm wearing a British flag T-shirt and my buddy's wearing a Snoopy shirt. All right. And we just spotted the tour bus near Gander Mountain. Are you having fun yet, Josh? Oh yes, sir. We thought that the bus driver was, was mean mugging us, man. We went up and asked if we could take a picture, and he didn't even respond. He scowled. He scowled at us. And we're like, can we please get a picture next to the bus? Probably sick of hearing it. I think he's actually partially deaf because we had to really speak up to, for him to hear us. That's funny. Yeah, I don't know if Kevin's listening, but uh, we met up with Kevin for dinner. A nice guy. He's uh, got a really great-looking GTO. Yeah, roger that. Yeah. Pretty good food. Yeah, once in a while, Kevin, up here in Pontiac, Illinois, by the Route 66 Museum, 
the GTO club meets up here because it's right in the mall where the Pontiac Oakland Museum is. In uh, Wisconsin? Illinois. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that holding of yours ought to be worth something in about 30 years. If it makes it that long. Yeah, I looked at those when they came out in 2004, and I just, I said, the thing I said to myself was, they it's like they cut the rear doors off. Yeah, there's a uh, quite a bit of room inside, though, for the back seat. It'd be uh, a lot more room than the new Camaros and or the Mustang. Hey, at least you drive it. You know, a lot of guys like myself uh, have these Impala Super Sports, and so many people bought those when they were getting rid of them, and they turned around and they put them up on decks, put them in garage. Of them has just tanked. Yeah, I try and drive as much as I can. Uh, the last three years, it's probably only seen maybe a thousand miles until now. Now it's seen almost two thousand in five days, six days. Ah, you're just shaking the bugs out of it. Yeah, when I started the tour, it only had 200 miles on the motor. So it's doing good so far, knock on wood. Well, you got another day in the books. Yes, sir. And then uh, another. I think it's 700 miles home after that. But if it was easy, we'd all live in Illinois. Hi, Roger that. Well, I just figured hop in and see what was going on. Good to see you guys hooked up with each other. Yeah, that's what this is about, you know, communications, making friends. Yeah, I'm um, did a little tuning on the car, and I'm um, headed up to the room and get some cold beverage and a nice cold shower, and we're ready for the crashing. Yep, yep. We'll see you in uh, Kansas, Kevin. Ten four. Be careful. All right, guys. Drive safe. So yeah, if anybody's still listening, uh, we just got our ass whooped by the uh, G Force Challenger. We get our ass whooped. We got our racing. We got our ass whooped. He just went. Eight hundred ten horsepower. You can't run with the big dog. Don't get off the porch. All I know is that when he took off, there's now an extra shifter in the car. Hey, at least you tried. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to stop by their booth tomorrow. <laughs> well, if anyone cares, it's a pleasant 71 degrees up here in Chicago right now. If anyone cares, it's a pleasant 69 degrees in here. And you broke up on the end of that, Josh. I think you were trying to say it cooled off to 69 degrees down there. Sorry, we were going through like a dead zone, dip in the road. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice 69 degrees in the car. In the car, okay. Word of advice, when cruising by a cop, make sure your cruise control is set to the speed limit. Just saw a guy got nabbed in front of us. Well, you ain't supposed to be speeding, you're supposed to be cruising. It's just our cruise speed is a little bit higher, that's all. Well, unless you get a, got a get-out-of-jail-free card, I wouldn't be doing that and you're not in your home state, you know. Uh, nothing crazy. I mean, the speed limit is 75 out here, so we're doing 80, usually. Yeah, you can get away with that in Missouri and Illinois. You can't get away with that in Kansas. Yeah, obviously not, seeing how how fast that cop pulled, up, pulled the guy in front of us over. Yeah, Kansas is almost as bad as Ohio on their uh, speed limits. Excessive operation of vehicle is to be performed in a designated area. Well, be careful in Topeka, Kansas. The cops are out here like crazy. They're doing an onslaught of pullovers for DUI drivers. Oh, yeah, I saw that post on Facebook. I forgot about that. Uh, it's funny reading on Facebook about the escapades of the uh, douchebag convertible. So from what I read, it, he, he just yelled at somebody that was in a VIP parking that should have been. Is that what happened? Uh, from what I read, he yelled at somebody that wasn't supposed to be in VIP parking, and he paid for VIP parking. And he didn't feel because he paid extra to be uh, in VIP parking, anybody else should be there. I don't know. Yep, that definitely fits the D-bag title. Yeah, almost it makes me embarrassed to say I'm from Illinois. Well, you don't live up in Chicago, right? Uh, I'm up in Joliet, actually. Over by the prison. Pretty good. But my roots are in Chicago. Well, you know us St. Louisans and uh, Chicagoans always have a feud, so... Well, we always say here life is totally different uh, south of I-80. It's definitely the truth. No, I can imagine that douchebag thinks because he paid for VIP 
that he gets to avoid the lines and he gets to avoid everything and he's just a special kind of feller. We get those around here. I bet you he's a first timer. Hope he's also a last timer. Well, he's lucky he's around the people because if he wasn't, his shit be spray painted D one or the other. The GPS just took us on a, on a short detour to the uh, to Kansas City venue tomorrow. City venue tomorrow. City venue tomorrow. City venue.